Hi there, it's Jennifer, and I'm here today to do a February empties video for you. It's probably going to be one of the shortest videos I've ever done, which is probably going to be a shock to some of you because I can sometimes get a little long-winded. Anyway, I only finished four things in the month of February. Um, normally, in these videos, I say, wow, I can't believe how many things I've finished up, and it's been that way for the past several months since I started this channel last summer, and this month I just don't have a lot. So, um, But let me go ahead and show you what I did finish. Um, one of the things I finished is a hand soap by Bath & Body Works. I love their hand soaps. They um, seem to be going more toward the foaming formulas now than the moisturizing formulas. Um, I guess I see pluses and minuses with both of them. Um, but this is a uh, foaming hand soap and it's called Winter Citrus Wreath. And it is Winter Citrus Wreath with accents of fresh balsam. So it looks like this. And um, I got this, oh, when was it? I think it was around, you know they do their semi-annual sale. Is that after Christmas that they do that? somewhere around there. And they had a semi-annual sale that was kind of online. And so I purchased a whole bunch of hand soaps. I was trying to focus on scents that were kind of ones that I could use after Christmas and into the spring. And this one, I'm trying to see if I can get the smell of it. This one has a really nice scent. It's very light and you can definitely smell the citrus and you can definitely smell kind of a, um, a, a little bit of a, well, it's balsam. I don't really know what balsam is, but it's leafy. I guess it's a wreath. So it kind of has that little um, smell of like what a wreath smells like in it. Um, not usually when you pump out some of their hand sanitizer and you start um, rubbing your hands together, you smell it right away. This one, I didn't sm smell the scent until I would start rinsing my hands. Um, and so it's very, very, very light. So if you don't like overpowering scents, then, um, then this would be the one for you. I prefer something a little bit stronger. I do have another one of these though, so I will be using uh, another one. Not sure if I would purchase it again, because like I said, I like things that have a little bit um, heavier scent when I'm washing my hands. Um, the one I'm using currently is another Bath & Body Works hand soap that is called Fresh Sparkling Snow. It's a really, really, really pretty scent, but quite honestly, I had no idea that snow smelled, smelled like that. Ha ha. Um, okay, the next thing I used up is a mask by Freeman, and it's a diamond mineral rinse mask. Um, I heard about this from Linda, and her channel is The Beauty Puzzle. She was talking about how Walmart had started to sell these, they sell them individually. They're about a dollar, I don't know, 37 or something like that per packet. Um, it is not a single use. It, um, I have hair on my lips. Um, <laughs> it's not a single use. Um, so I think I used this a couple of times. You put it on your face after you've washed your face um, and it's just kind of damp. You put it on and rub it around because it's got a real, real fine, gritty kind of exfoliator thing. So you, you rub it around on your face and your neck and then you leave it for five to seven minutes and then you rinse it off. So um, I used this and then like got in the tub and just left it on my face or you could put it on and then go get in the shower or whatever. It's, I like using it when I'm going to be getting into a shower or a tub because especially when you're putting stuff down on your neck, it's just hard to get all of that stuff off your skin with a washcloth. Um, I bought a couple other kinds, they have a, a, um, several different varieties of these and so run over to your Walmart and see where they are. They're not sold in boxes or packs, at least that I saw. I saw them at a, like an end cap kind of thing um, with all of these kind of displayed on this rack and so you can just pick out different ones and try them. You don't have to commit to like a pack five or something, you can just try them out. I'll definitely get another one of these or more of these in the future, I really, really liked it. Another thing that I used up is a scent shot, which is a wax melt, um, and it's by Candles by Victoria. I've talked about these before. They're highly scented wax melts, and they are truly highly scented. 
You have to make sure that you burn them in an open area. Even the, the area of my house that is kitchen, eating area, family room kind of thing with 11 foot ceilings was too, and, and there's an arched doorway here, was too enclosed. I told this story in a previous video that when I had been burning these things um, for a little while, all of my animals started coughing and sneezing and I thought they were all sick. Took him to the vet. He was, you know, asking all these questions. Did you get new carpet? Are you using a new cleaner? And then I went, oh gosh, I bet it's that those wax melts. And as soon as I stopped using them, everybody cleared up. So I have since started using them up in, I have a wax melt up in my loft in the little office area I have there. It's huge tall ceilings here as high as the second floor. And it does actually come down and permeate the rest of the house. So I can still use them and, um, and not, not make everybody start coughing and sneezing. The one is called Share in a Sleeping Bag. Now this was one that was sent to me when I had ordered several of these scent shots. And you don't use the whole thing at once. I mean, if you take a look at how, at the size of this thing, I mean, it's pretty decent size. And depending on, on the size of your wax melt, um, you, don't, you don't need to use the whole thing at once. And so I usually cut it into fourths. And when I start it, I put two of those pieces in there. And then when it starts, you know, either losing its scent or burning down, I drop in another quarter piece and then another quarter piece. I would never have purchased something called Share in a Sleeping Bag. Because first of all, I wouldn't have known what it was supposed to smell like. My, my first thought when I, when I saw it was, what is it Share in a Sleeping Bag? Does it smell like, like sweat and dirt and <laughs> stink? I don't know. But you know what? I wasn't too far off. Um, it, it wasn't a bad. It wasn't a bad smell. It's not a, a scent that I would I would buy in the future, but it had um, a real warm, almost kind of campfire smoky sort of smell to it. Um, yeah, I could I could see sweat, sweat and dirt in there too, but um, definitely a warm, warm scent. This was is something that would seem really inappropriate to burn in spring and summer months. It seems more like something to burn when it's chillier. Um, I still have a little bit left in my wax melt. I'll use it. I mean, I, I've enjoyed it just fine. Not typically what I burn. I tend to burn things that are more like fruity smells in my house, so. Okay, last one. This is um, a highlight. It's by Tarina Tarantino. Um, it's got that classic Tarina Tarantino style pewter container. Um, it is called I Dream Hyper Light. It is um, a tube like this with a brush. You turn the bottom and the product pushes out the end of the brush. Um, I got this in a BoxyCharm box last summer. It's lasted quite some time. Um, and it was, I think, I, if I remember correctly, this retails for around $30. And um, I remember thinking, wow, that's a lot because this Maybelline stuff I use, um, you know, for highlighter is quite a bit less than that, probably a third of the price. But this lasts longer than that stuff does too. And I kind of thought, oh, I'll just, you know, use it for a little while and then when it's done, then that'll be it and I'll go back to my other stuff. Well, I have gone back to my other stuff since this but only because I want to use it up. I really liked this stuff. I just liked the color of it. I liked how highlighting it was. The one thing I would suggest to this company, um, and maybe I should write a letter to them to, because they're not going to be watching this video, is I would love to have had some little window on this to know how much was left in here. I kept wondering for the last several months, I kept wondering if there was gonna come a day when I was gonna twist this thing and, and nothing came out. So, um, and that's what happened. I mean, one day I just went to twist it and there was a little bit and nothing more came out. So it would have been nice to know. I can tell you that if you get this, um, and it is Tarina Tarantino, um, if you get this, it lasts about six months. I used it every single day. It, it lasts a little more than six months. So I would say when you start getting to the six month marker, then you might want to order this. I don't know if there's an easy place to find this. I've never seen this in a store. They don't sell it on amazon.com. They don't sell it at Ulta. They don't sell it at Sephora. 
I just found it on the T Tarina Tarantino website. And you know, it, it would be nice if I could buy it at some of those other stores because I could have coupons or possibly free shipping based on what I order. And they, it doesn't seem that you can do that on their website. Um, that said, I, I, I do think I'm gonna get another one of these. I just have probably this much left in this tube of the Maybelline, what is it, Instant Age Rewind or something like that. And so um, I, I really wanna use that. I don't wanna waste it. If it sits on the shelf too long, it will eventually go bad. And um, it's a decent highlighter. So I'd like to use that up. So I think when I get down a little bit closer to finishing that, I'll probably um, pick up another one of these because it was very nice and I would highly recommend it. Didn't go on too thick. It doesn't emphasize lines. It's very light deflecting, all of that. So those are the four things that I finished in the month of February. Um, I thought I was maybe gonna get to the end of a mascara, but I didn't. So you'll probably see that one next month. So they, these were really good. And if there's anything that you used in the month of February that you were just loving so much that you're gonna purchase it again, love to hear about that and put it in the comments below. Um, if you're not currently subscribed to my channel, I'd love it if you would. So you know, hit that subscribe button. YouTube will let you know when I upload new videos to this channel. Um, I do lots of different stuff, beauty product reviews, favorites, empties, organizational projects, vacation planning, stuff like that. And you can also check out my other blog, or my other, well, it is a blog too. Um, my other channel called My Flagstaff Home, I'll link that below. Um, the blog for that is myflagstaffhome.com. It's more about, you know, kind of the stuff that I do in my life and stuff like that. A lot more vlog style, gardening, cooking, stuff like that. So, um, and yeah, I'll do a close up on all of these over on my blog at busybeinggen.com too. So, hope you guys are doing well and I will see you again. Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye.